I'm behind the wheel of a 34-year-old Mustang GT, a soft burble from its V8 lolls in the air. The tack needle lazily rises and falls as the manual shifter eases through all five gears. I'm rolling down Telegraph Road, not far from Ford's Dearborn, Michigan, headquarters. My destination is 1983. That was a banner year for car and driver and for Ford's pony car. It was the year we inaugurated our 10 best awards and voted the Mustang GT onto that first 10 best list. I was there, which is why I borrowed this all original, 17,000 mile beauty from Mustang collector Mike Berardi, to take a pony ride back to the genesis of 10 best in one of the cars that won. For a look at how it all began, this generation of Mustang was already in its fifth year when it was admitted to the 10 best class of 1983. Gas was a little over a buck a gallon, big hair was in, Ronald Reagan was president, and Michael Jackson had yet to destroy his legacy. If you can remember 1983, the GT feels, well, a bit like you probably do, older, lazier, and stiffer. You sit tall. Looking out through huge windows framed by thin pillars, the current Mustang is a bunker in comparison. The shifter throws are so long that you have to extend your right arm fully to engage fifth gear. At 50 miles per hour, the GT shivers like a puppy in a thunderstorm. Road noise, wind rush, and the cacophony of the surrounding traffic drown out the mellow V8. I don't remember it being this gritty back then, time and tide wait for no car, apparently.